Hey there, it's new. Time for my last and final update of the season. Uh, we did a day one update, we did a week one update, and now we're doing a month one update. And admittedly, this video is coming out a few days late, but I think it's going to be worth the wait because I just finished one of the best farming sessions I've ever had. And I'm going to get to talk to you about it a little bit. Uh, particularly, uh, you know, not going into specifics about that farming session, but just kind of just bigger picture stuff uh, based on some of the things I've been learning. Uh, this is a hint for you, if you want to guess what my farming session was. Uh, no, I did not find all of these in one farming session. Uh, I did find 13 of them, though, <laughs> in one farming session. Um, I started doing 100 map farming sessions. Um, I decided it was a pretty cool thing. Uh, Grimrow was the one who's kind of inspired uh, multiple content creators to do it. Uh, it's much more feasible this season than it has been in the past because uh, we're running maps a lot faster. Not really, you know, there's no Nemesis 3, Nemesis 4 anymore. So, you know, at this point in the season before, back in the day, I would have started doing Nemesis 3, Nemesis 4 farming, probably. Um, but instead, here I am just screaming through the cemetery map in two, three, four, maybe five minutes flat and walking out with treasures untold. So, yeah, we'll talk about that a little bit. Uh, let's get uh, the big one out of the way first. Uh, honestly, is this the hotkey for it? Yeah, I, I honestly forgot what the hotkey was for this because I don't do it anymore. <laughs> uh, although I, I do actually have three of essentially the best recipes possible saved up i do plan to make a video on this at some point you know farewell video uh it did occur to me that you can juice up your arch nemesis uh beyond just the normal conventional ways uh by waiting uh very patiently until you have a map where you get multiple altars of well in this case uh chance to do chance for monsters to duplicate uh, currency drops I have before at least once before uh, I had a map where I hit that altar four times in one map I had like at least 60% chance uh, to duplicate currency would have been a damn good time to run this <laughs> but I didn't have it ready at the time but upon realizing that that could happen I decided well I will be sure to be on the lookout for that next time uh, once I have uh, these ready, set, and good to go. But honestly, guys, um, I don't do this anymore. I don't pick up anything anymore. Uh, another really good uh, strategy to run, though, if you are intent on doing it, uh, don't go for these crazy mega strikes. It's not worth picking up this stuff. Because they did update uh, the UI, which is kind of nice, but nowhere near uh, good enough. And it's just too many things that are wrong with it, too many things that are bad about it, that it just make it not worth doing. Uh, temporal Bubble. Is a really good one to start. So Temporal Bubble gives you a lot of um, contracts. Gives you some blueprints. Most importantly, it gives you re-roll currency from uh, the you know what it's called. <laughs> Forgetting what it's called. Uh, and Danig's um, crying out loud. This stuff right here. Okay, burial medallions can drop from it, and they drop a plenty because it re-rolls the currency many times. If, for example, you run Temporal Bubble, followed by Treant, followed by Mirror Image to get the Scarabs back on there. Mirror Image is a really good one to roll because, uh, additionally, it rewards a re-roll two, two additional times, and then I roll uh, Rejuvenating at the end, and I'm, I get a lot of burial medallions that way. Get a lot of uh, coinage, exotic coinage that way, and, and get uh, some decent scarabs, gilded scarabs, and uh, currency rewards that way in the end. And it ultimately was my favorite uh, pattern or recipe to do until the point which shortly thereafter I just gave up on it because, in my opinion, I don't know the exact threshold. You just have to play it by your own ear, but uh, you know kind of uh, leaving fun out of the equation I think at whatever point in which you are making uh, well over five exalts per hour this no longer becomes worth messing with um, at that point it just shouldn't even bother with it I'm so yeah uh, ex um, arch nemesis <laughs> is done I'm banning it like basically completely um, I may revisit it later down the line but the only reason I would revisit it really is um, 
for nostalgic purposes or just do something you know different <laughs> something uh you know knowing that this uh, mechanic is probably gonna gonna go away here i still have a dump tap full of stuff that uh, i ran in 100 maps just <laughs> absolutely here's another hint about what i've been doing lately uh breach rings worth a lot of money three chaos a piece and oh my god they're easy and the scarabs are super cheap uh so what should we check we should look at my current tree now this is not the final form by any chance but in the cemetery Broadly speaking, I am always taking all the strongbox nodes minus uh, the map nodes here that aren't worth much. I am taking all the shrine nodes because, oh my god, the goal is amazing with the shrines. And I'm taking all the harbinger nodes because it's something that is fairly reliable currency and super quick and easy. Mechanic doesn't require a lot of extra work. Also taking breach. Now... Uh, so yeah, my baseline is Strongbox, Shrine, Harbinger. All the quantity and effective modifier nodes to juice up the map, the pack size on the influence uh, ones to get the additional altars. I may be running Searing Exarch, I may be running Eater of Worlds. Kind of depends on the value of the uh, currencies that are like here. Uh, if we go in and we check like these, you know, for example, Grand... Eldritch Embers versus Grand Eldritch Ikor. Pretty crazy that Ikors have surpassed Eldritch Embers in value for some weird reason. Like, Eldritch Embers were worth way more than... I don't know what's going on, but uh, I'm sure there's a reason for it. Anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm doing uh, on that front. Yeah, go back into it here. Uh, and then... The last kind of thing I have enough points to run, I'll, I'll switch back and forth. I tried Legion for a little bit. Um, character's kind of weak. I uh, can't really handle it very well, uh, at least uh, not with the generals. Uh, Breach, I really like. Honestly, really like Breach. I was trying Essence at one point for a little bit, but uh, it just doesn't put any monsters on the map. It's kind of a waste to have all these uh, increased effect modifiers without doing a mechanic that puts a lot of modifiers on the map. As you all know, I started the league doing Blight, and I think that was perfectly fine, but I have not revisited it uh, since uh, making a permanent home in the cemetery, anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, because, you know, um, Breach and uh, Legion are very good for that. I have not yet farmed Expedition. I don't really want to get into it, because I know it's going to require a great deal of investment. Um, with the NPCs. And it's just something I don't want to deal with for fun's sake. It's not that I don't like the strategy, I just don't want to deal with it really. Uh, at some point I found uh, this notable here for two points. You can get essentially 3% max res, 105% damage, and 45% movement speed in the map. You know, especially if you're on a map like Cemetery, we can find these all, all three of these really quick. And that's incredible. <laughs> all you gotta do is run any Sulfite Scarab or just pick Nico for the master mission that you have saved up if you're not running delve or especially if you are running delve then uh, you probably want to do this uh, anyway uh all like all of my maps i'm running i'm already already running the sextant for this so you know you know wise guy brains here uh decided to remove the point since it's actually not serving me any purpose <laughs> at this time anymore uh let's see at one point, I was running some of these nodes up here, but honestly, they just don't seem worth it. It's just too many points to invest. Like, if I could take these for half the points that I have to get, maybe I would do it. But, yeah. Honestly, I think the synthesis nodes are broken. A lot of people think they are. Uh, at one point, I was actually trying uh, Torment. Tormented Monsters. Possessed uh, mechanic. And uh, I'm actually going to revisit that a little bit. Um, it's just kind of... It, it adds a surprising amount of quantity. Uh, what is it? It's um, right here. 30% more quantity of items dropped by possessed monsters. That's its own multiplier. That's kind of wild. But not. Very, it's not going to apply to very many monsters, though. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, uh, the breach node down here, not really worth that much. I'm about to shift out of those. I've been moving things around a lot. But anyway, the again, the baseline, Harbinger, Shrine, Strongbox, quantity and increase effect modifier those are the ones i basically never change now and i just constantly run cemetery and i get brother stashes galore <laughs> basically it uh, breach honestly seems like kind of one of the best bets especially for my ex extraordinarily fast mapper who cannot do hardly any single target dps i do have a headhunter yeah i kind of forgot to mention that earlier <laughs> 
I have a headhunter and um, very enlightening point to make. Headhunter makes almost no difference to, compared to the belt I was running because acceleration shrines make me run way faster than a headhunter ever could. And I get that shrine somewhat reliably, at least uh, the lesser shrine. Uh, no, I mean, you know, being completely honest, of course the headhunter is really good um, while mapping, but uh, not that big of a deal. Here's something really interesting. I'm level 99 and I'm halfway to 100. How many five ways did I have to buy to get to this point? Uh, answer zero. I'm just farming, just running stuff. I'm going to level all the way to 100. I'll make a special video about it. That's so cool. I never thought that would happen. I mean, it's absolutely amazing uh, that I can do that. To not have to pay those guys 2x per four or five runs and waste a lot of time not farming, not selling stuff at the same time. What an incredible relief that is to not have to deal with that. And I hope I never have to deal with it again, <laughs> honestly. Because uh, up until now, every season, I've leveled up to 95 or 96 maybe 97 and then bought five ways to get to the rest of the way and i always hated that day you know it always take me like a day or whatever of just logging in and afking in that five way and so boring and i hated doing it and if i don't have to do that anymore great this is a lot of stuff for my harvest uh reforges i don't even do harvest anymore this is also unforeseen honestly i don't think harvest is worth doing uh this season uh, obviously it's kind of worth doing but uh as far as just finding a random harvest, you know, without having harvest nodes uh, on the tree, with the kind of farming I'm doing super fast, and it's not, you know, I'm not getting like Nemesis 3 out of the harvest monster spawns or whatever, totally not worth doing, really. No, nah, not really worth doing. Uh, sextant, I love this sextant. Uh, maps in found in areas are corrupted with 8 modifiers. Dude, that's so awesome because I need my map to have 8 modifiers to be, to have the greatest chance of yielding me a uh, brother stash. Because I need to have a lot of quantity. I have a lot of blighted maps left over. I probably need to sell them. <laughs> I was going to run blight, literal blighted maps to test the currency per hour. Yeah, I, I, I may abandon that plan. Probably not going to do it. I had been selling my Scarab tab uh, and some other tabs for 90, 85 to 90% market value pretty easily. Bulk and TFT. Currently selling breach rings for three chaos apiece in massive bulk quantity. I uh, could be rolling grasping rate uh, mails yourself. I've yet to hit one even decent, so I'm not even bothering with that. Sold my essence tab at some point. Oh yeah, forgot I threw those in there. Let's get those back where they belong. Uh, currency, you know, selling a lot of currency uh, at a kind of inflated price. Eventually, people will message me for them. Uh, if I do get a message about raw currency, I usually take it. If I'm not busy making a video because I have basically everything priced above market value. So occasionally markets do shift into that. Uh, you know, this case in point, incandescent invitations, these are above market value. But somebody someday is going to come along and buy 10 of these for 120% market price. <laughs> and I don't need the money right now. So uh, there, that's that. Uh, yeah, let's check gear. How am I doing? What am I running now? I got a new build, right? Whole month into the season. Nah, you know me. I stick one. I stick with that. I'm, I'm going to try really hard to make a new build. I'll talk about it in a second here. Uh, but I do have a new bow. I've decided to go balls deep on Caustic Arrow because it's incredible for farming cemetery. So I've made my own uh, actual Caustic Arrow bow. This is not a Toxic Rainbow uh, because it does not focus on attacks per second per se. It focuses on damage dot, uh, dot multiplier. And getting the extra increased movement speed. This is the Caustic Arrow Bow to make right here for 10x. Exactly, 10x. Uh, I do have an exceptional quiver. Uh, this is one of the most recent things I crafted. I have not, honestly, not. there's a lot of pieces of gear I have on here. They're exactly the same that I had uh, three weeks ago. Uh, but this quiver, wow. It is essentially perfect for a Caustic Arrow except for being tier 2 life. It has exactly the modifiers I wanted on it. It has tier 1 uh, super high rolls on all of them, and again, except the max life. I love having the suffix the way it is here, because I can, it gives me one suffix on all of my gear that I can adjust for resistances, or just to simply put attack speed if I don't need it. As you can see, I was short cold res, I barely hit the cap here, and thanks to this right here, and my chaos res isn't quite capped, and of course I get tremendous value out of 15% chaos res because I get dot multi 
from Chaos Res. Uh, a lot of double corrupted uniques because they're super cheap this season, even though they're bloody incredibly powerful <laughs> and good. Uh, in fact, I'm looking to buy a, a double corrupted gull when I see one that I like. It'll cost me maybe 5x. I don't know. Uh, Ashes of the Star, super, super good. Absolutely amazing with, um, where is it? Divergent Withering Step. 73% uh, chance to not remove the buff on skill use. Wow, that's so good. <laughs> uh, getting to keep elusive uh, all the time, basically. I have all of the best uh, alternative quality gems now. All of the best awakened gems, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, basically running the same thing I was running last season. With uh, much, much worse gear. <laughs> Uh, trying these, uh, percent damage taken while, uh, recouped as life. Uh, you know what? I, I don't really know how I feel about this, uh, because I may not need it anymore. At the time, I didn't have, uh, great methods of recovery. However, I now have a Watcher's Eye that is really nice. This doesn't have, a uh, Malevolence Dot Multi. I, I'm kind of missing that, but, uh, to have, you know, one of the reasons I'm running Purity of Elements is for this modifier here. Uh, it's one of the reasons I can wear a lot of uh, unique gear, and I don't need to get the Chaos Res otherwise. Uh, percent damage leech as life while affected by vitality. One of the only pure forms of Chaos Damage leech uh, that you can get. Uh, one of the only ones, so conveniently located right there. Gear looks pretty nice. I got uh, armor with all the flasks. I have 44k armor. Pretty nice. Of course, I have a lot more with Headhunter buffs, and if I get a Defensive Shrine... Um, Evasion rating, not so high. What is it here? 78%. That does go up a little bit. Uh, spell suppression, 100%, of course. All max res. Um, I did my most recent upgrade came from double corrupting one of these chests, which was honestly not a good idea. Not a good investment, but uh, I got tired of not having one it was double corrupted, so I decided to double corrupt a couple. And first hit, absolutely slammed the magic there. This could barely even be better. Um, if I could, I would substitute the max res for 50% damage, and that's about it. Obviously, max res is a, uh, an exceptional role uh, to speak of. I am missing a little bit of stun avoidance, actually, although I have 88% when I'm using a mana potion. I'm trying to get 15% more on an implicit on a jewel. Failing miserably at doing that. Run speed, 209% with a flask. Absolutely crazy, and this is one of the secret big secret reasons why I'm able to farm as much currency per hour as I am. I recently just did a video where I made 14 exalts per hour in a hundred maps with an uh, with a hundred map uh, sample size uh, farming cemetery. It was a uh, long story short. It was quadruple gilded scarabs. Uh, you already saw the tree. It was actually the exact same tree that you just saw. Uh, Atlas passive tree. And yeah, there's a video on that. You can watch it if you'd like. If, if you don't see it, it's because I haven't quite finished editing it yet but it will be out shortly uh the watcher's eye and headhunter look different now because of this funky little kirax vault which i thought was a hot key that i could see now that i want to see it i can't see it okay there it is <laughs> kirax vault pass pretty cool um of course as a as a Fine, upstanding streamer such as myself, I love the uh, and as one of the one percenters, um, I don't know. Uh, I like it. I know a lot of people don't like it, and they resent <laughs> people for having it. I think it's cool. I I'm honestly not a big MTX head. I don't really care about it, but these particular MTXs actually make me feel good about you know being somebody who's actually successful in the game, whereas other MTXs you just buy and you just put on any gear you want. It, it has no prestige behind it. Uh, these do. These actually do have prestige behind it. So because I, you know, perform the way I perform this game, I'm able to have these items. I'm able to, you know, showcase uh, the cool stuff about them. It, this, these I actually enjoy these MTXs a lot more than just generic ones. Um, I'm, I, I don't have hardly any MTXs, actually. I don't really think... Yeah, I got almost nothing. Almost nothing. Yeah, I don't buy MTXs. I don't really care. Uh, that's just me. <laughs> that that That's kind of a year one update <laughs> on me because I started playing this game uh, 11 months ago. Uh, so that is about everything. I don't know if I've left much out, but uh, I am going to run one map. I'm going to show you exactly what I was doing last one. Now, this isn't precisely the exact same setup, uh, but we'll see. I have 
Hunted Traders. Strong box quantity. Additional strong boxes elevated. And a Gloom Shrine. Dude. Biggest thing right here. Gloom Shrine. What the hell? So good. Uh, it's like Corpse Explosion, except for free on every single ability you have. And in its strongest form ever conceived. <laughs> uh, so, if I want to farm 14x an hour, here's what I do. Watch and learn. Okay, we're going here. We're going to quickly find a shrine. Oh, that's nice. Acceleration shrine. I'm just picking up the shrines first. I'm not hitting anything. So I'm not actually hitting the... Uh, strong boxes yet because I may increase my quantity on the map further before the map's all said and done. I'm just looking for the map boss. That's all I'm doing right now. I don't even want to hit. I don't want to hit anything. I'm just looking for the shrine, looking for the map boss. I would like to find the map boss because then I can guarantee every uh, altar that spawns after the fact is of premium quality. Okay, we're going to the map boss. He drops nothing for our usual arrangement. Uh, additional scarabs. Okay, great. Okay, at this point, I'm going to keep killing stuff because I want to spawn more altars. I just triggered a breach, but I don't even need to be near the breach right now. And this is one reason I like breach, because I can come back to it now and just kill everything. Bada bing, bada boom. Done. Okay, I basically cleared the map. Got terrible RNG on the altars. That's fine. Don't really care. Uh, now I'll, I'm going to unlock all the strong boxes. Strong boxes offer me the highest opportunity to find a brother's stash from the monsters that spawn in the strong box. As you can see, strong box monsters have a 500% increased item quantity. And we have a Gilded Divination Scarab on here. Definitely giving myself a premium chance of finding Brother Stash. Another breach open. I'm not going to focus on the breach right now. Opening strong boxes. No Diviner strong box. That's unfortunate, but oh well. Okay, breach is almost done, so we'll go in here. Uh, you never know what the class pans may drop. They may drop something good. I have gotten a raw exalt out for that random one of those before. Uh, very unlikely, but it has happened. And this map is about done. The speed shrine that I had earlier has just worn off, I believe, and we are now in loot mode. This particular map did not drop anything of any significance. It was actually quite awful. In fact, I may have not even made my money back. I don't know, but these breach rings are worth uh, three chaos apiece. And I will spend a grand total of five minutes in this map. Or less. That's basically how it is. Simple as that. My loot filter, I should mention, my loot filter is now uh, on the... It is on uh, the website. You can look it up under my profile. It is a slightly adjusted uber strict uh, filter blade filter. Oh, wow. Winged Shaper Scarab. Well, that's kind of awesome and unfortunate at the same time. At least uh, I'll be able to swap that Scarab for two of those for a different one at a later date. Ah, almost missed one. Watch my health. 4,900, right? Watch this. Boom. 5,800. Just from a lesser shrine. So good. Incredible. I have 90% all res, by the way, if I ever get the resistance shrine, which is pretty frequent. So, final pass through the map. Nothing has dropped in there, so that is it. Eh, just showcasing kind of how I run the map. Yeah, it's kind of crazy to believe, but what I just did right there is, for, is I'd say, consistently well over 10x an hour <laughs> for me. Um, obviously, a, a brother stash is not going to drop every map. I'm not going to get, you know, anything crazy, but I seem to be getting one every 10 maps <laughs> on average. Uh, at this point with that level of juice so there you have it that's all for the video the updates finished i'm going to continue doing cemetery farms going to continue making a lot of currency uh why well i suppose i should mention final goal moving forward i was 
fairly starstruck at the idea of making an omniscience tornado shot. Um, people are making dead eyes for this. I think I'll make a raider. You know what? I like the idea of, far, of mapping with that character because it would be nice to be able to do legion and just completely annihilate those legion bosses and not get completely hosed over by the templar boss for example uh so i'm looking forward to kind of doing strategies actually kind of similar to this one except to at least have the opportunity to do bossing if i want but to still be an incredible mapper i'll probably need to be a raider in order to have the speed for that with permanent phasing and i'll be able to do legion maybe instead of breach or legion instead of harbinger perhaps i don't know Remains to be seen, but uh, apparently the kind of gear threshold I'm looking for, looking at multiple mirrors <laughs> in it. But hey, you know, if I can farm 100 exalt a day, I don't see why I can't do it, so. Yeah. Well, there is a reason why I can't do it. Maybe it's because I have a full-time job. <laughs> and that's part of the update, too. Still got the full-time job. My Not a no-life streamer. That's the life for me. Uh, so, as always, if you guys uh, watch this video, you know, thank you once again. I will continue pumping out the content and they're going to be especially with some things like quick tips and uh, crafting videos will coming forward to you soon. Got a lot in the back of my head. We'll see you around. All right. Stay true to the mapping gods and may the RNG be ever on your side. Thank you.